Hey everyone, we're back in part three. Sorry about that, the camera cut off. No biggie. I was just on these slow elevators again. Take this spring up to this platform, and wait for it to move over to the right. There we go. Hit this switch to open up this wall. Careful of those spike balls. Oh, shoot! See, if I had a spin dash, I would be able to just go right up there by spinning up the side. But I had to go up the... Uh, <clears throat> jump on the platform first and then jump up. But no biggie. Woo! That was a close one. Uh, spin when you get to the bottom. Woo! Now go in this wall right here. Invincibility and speed boots. Woo! Yeah! Get ahead of this block. Not that hard because you got invincibility now. Go through here. Ring, shield, ring. And careful here. Oh. Oh. Okay. Here's invincibility down here. Okay, with these platforms, be careful. Jump up here, and just like those swinging platforms, walk to the next one. And walk, because down is a bottomless pit of death. Walk. I think it's one more walk. And then when you see these pillars right here, the tips of them, you can jump down. Now this is another easy boss. Stand on the left side. Wait. There we go. He drops on this... Spike, you can get three hits on him and go under him. Hopefully, he won't drop the spike again. Wait on the left side block and it'll drop. Get three more hits. Wait. Oh, whoopsie. That's okay. Made a little mistake, but that's okay. It could have been worse. I could have been thrown to the bottomless pit. Yeah, down is death through there. And that's it. Spring Yard Zone is done. Woo! Run, piggies and chicks, run. Alright, now we're, we've, we are going from slow elevators to slower water. Oh. Yeah, I'm not really that much of a fan of Obrinth Zone. It's not that it's not very well designed, because it is, it's just that water levels are so slow. Remember I was talking about in the first part about the water being wavy? See that effect that you're looking at now? That is not in the American version of the game. So, it's a nice change of pace, as I said. It makes the this level appear a little fresher, so to speak. Use this platform, go up to here, don't get squished by the spikes, and you'll get sucked through. Hit this platform, and it'll go up, and go down through it, the hole that it makes, wait for a bubble, I'll just use this one, there we go. Could I hit, nope, I was going to hit that one too. Watch out for the spike balls on these stair climbing parts. Whew. It's not that hard, you just have to watch your jumps. And fresh air. Okay, take this platform up, jump to this side, and hit the switch. You have to pretty much go as close as you can to the ceiling, or those spikes, I should say. Otherwise, you won't be able to make that jump to the other side easily. A bubble. Lamp post. Watch out for these things, they're kind of hard to avoid. Just stay in rhythm. Bubble. Hit the switch, that'll open that. Oh shoot! I didn't mean to hit down. <laughs> I'm using a little GameCube D-pad, so you know how hard it is to get precise D-pad controls on this. Ride this cork up. That's the easiest way to get up from there. And jump back down. You have to take these platforms up. Look out for this statue spitting fire when we get up there. At least I think it's here. Yeah, it is. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> okay, get ahead of these corks if you can. 
because if you get stuck on them, you'll be uh, either get squished or you'll have a mad break for getting air. There we go. Believe me, it's happened to me before. <laughs> Probably happened to any anyone who played this game. Or this level, I should say. Then guess what? We are done! Woo! Yeah, that was out of tone. That was on purpose. <laughs> Act 2. It only gets more slow from here. Whoops. I like that ring back. Thank you. There we go. Okay, now. Oh wait, this isn't the part yet. It's in Act 3. Get a bubble here if you want. Hello? Yeah, there's invincibility up there, but I'm not gonna bother. Up to the right there. It's easy to jump up to. Whoa! Yeah, they throw their little spike balls. Oops. Get a little bubble, keep going. Get over that. Let's look out for that spike ball. Yeah, I get sucked through here. Now, use a spring, let it go straight up, like that through there. Now, go down here to this ring box, hit this switch. You need to hit that switch to progress. That'll open up this wall. I think I think that's what it does. What's over? Oh, yeah, there's invincibility over here. Go down, this will make things a lot easier with invincibility because of these uh, spears, whatever you want to call them. And in bubble, perfect timing, wow. Oh, well, that was bad timing. I thought I could have got him. <laughs> look out. Basically, the object of those spike falls is to avoid the steps that they intersect with. You know, like jump over the steps when you have the chance. It's hard to explain unless you've tried it. Jump from that platform to there because you'll get squished by the spikes. There's an, another fire statue, I think. Oh no, there isn't. This is the end. Oops. Yeah! And glitch! Yeah! How many of these score things can I find here? Yeah, I got two! Where the heck's the rest of them? Oh well, there's supposed to be five at the end of each zone. I never found them all. But certainly fun to play around with. Okay, now, with this one, it'll be an endless loop unless you jump at the right point. You have to jump right here. Yes, got it. Okay, you have to hit that switch. Now, to avoid... Oops. Uh, I'm low on camera, camera room, so I'm going to cut this off here. See you guys in the next part.